the news is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Spa Nail and Barbershop, the Wellness Center, Medical and Behavioral Health Clinics, Tissily Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, HOV Medical and Digicel, simply more speed, reliability and entertainment. The Great Debate, District 9 Candidates, VIP Vincent Whitley. I have said it before, and I will say it here now again, there has never been more action in a four-year period in this district than in my four years. PVIM Shireen Flax Charles. We need a tourism model that works for us and our people. Not one so politically disastrous and nonsensical that our competitors are happy. NDP Coy Levin. How many election periods has passed and the issues are not addressed? But six months before election, you got story to tell the people as if the people them is ignorant and don't have understanding. Independent Vernon Vantapool. The Great Debate. Virgin Gorda, April 14, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at Catholic Community Center. And Annie Gata, April 16, 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Emil Dunlop Community Center. It's popularly known as the Greedy Bill. Legislators' Allowance Act as revised by legislators elected to the 4th House of Assembly following the 2019 general elections. This bill caused a stir when it hit the public's domain, which forced amendments before it was passed in the House of Assembly. However, resurfaced as a hot topic when the 2023 election campaign hit the road. But according to Honorable Julian Fraser... My two colleagues from the 7th and 8th they're coming across like saints, lily white. <laughs> all, all I know, all I know is that, all I know is that all members present voted yeah. And Ronnie W. Skelton took the high road. Let the record reflect that I was not there. Now let's get into the heart of the debate on this topic. Um, Section 81 of the Constitution states that um, the legislature shall, uh, may, make laws for the powers, privileges, and immunities of itself and its members. However, no such laws, privileges, and power should be, exceed those of members of the UK House of Commons. So it tells me, and you should hear this, you should notice too, that nothing in that particular piece of legislation exceeds those that were uh, meted out for members of the House of Commons in the UK. Had it, had it done that, then the governor wouldn't have sent to it. That being said, that being said, people talk about the bill being repealed. The question you have to ask is, what does repeal mean? You don't make laws retroactive. That law is made already. That's already done. You can't make a law retroactive. If you commit a crime under a particular law, and the legislators decide to repeal that particular law, that crime still stands. You still got to stand trial for that crime. So you, you got to be careful what you're listening to and what you believe when you, left it, you leave here. I've gone on record in saying that my support for the uh, Retiring Legislators Act was a mistake. <laughs> and if you can't, if you can't um, being a new legislator and being someone new to politics, can go through four year terms, or four years, without being able to admit that you've made some mistakes. I don't think you're introspective enough. So I will not present myself to the public or to anyone to make it seem, first of all, that I didn't support it when I did support it. I'm going to man up and I'm going to say that was a mistake. And I'm going to man up as well and say I will not, I will not collect a dime. I will not collect a dime on that Retirement Act in its current form, and I intend, um, uh, God willing, I'm given the opportunity to repeal the entire bill. Now, the, the problem that we have with the bill is that legislators are, uh, are um, determining for themselves their own salaries and their own pensions. In fact, if my colleagues are uh, honest and they would will, they will say so, <laughs> that, that there, there was a heated discussion, particularly on the second section of the bill, concerning that the, a vote was asked um, to have that particular section um, not be as it was being put forward. 
um, members walked out of the House meeting um, in, in, a, in a sense discussion. I asked for a division of vote. It, it was not given, uh, particularly on a particular section. But I believe that the initial discussion that we had in terms of the legislators, the senior legislators, the old legislators that needed that support, um, we needed to move forward that section of the bill. Hindsight is 2020. I too have been publicly on public record that we should not move forward with the bill as it is. I believe that we need comprehensive reform of the pensions process, not just for legislators, but pensions overall. The, the, it, it, it was wrong because when I read the bill for the first time, this was weeks after, and if my, my friend from the eighth could recall and my, my other colleague from the second, I, I turned to them and said, no one took out a piece of paper and a pencil and tried to calculate and see what this means. And they tell me some other story, but when I did the numbers, I can see the numbers were ex exorbitant. And I didn't get into politics to go into the government to make myself rich. That was not my intention. So there's no, if, if a but about it, a PVIM government will repeal it and the member for the third district is quite right. You, you could only repeal something, but it's those people who, are, who will have retired under it, you still have to pay. Hi, I'm Cowboy, and I'm running for stake pre no, no, president's of stake. Thank you. And I will meet your needs. Some bathrooms are so expensive to build, they come with security. But at Staycation Butchers, our meats are affordable. People always ask me, Cowboy, where does your salmon come from? Well, our salmon comes from the Wata. I vote for Cowboy. It's a vote for quality, integrity, and consistency. So come into Staycation Butchers and cast your vote for me, your next president of stake. Alexandra Durant approves this message. No, I don't. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official Bank of Paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us, a bank that gives where it matters the most, for you for our community, and a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Everyone looks to the future, but no one truly knows what the future holds. The number of people under the age of 20 with type 2 diabetes could increase by 49% by 2050. Let it be known that we all have a 30% chance of developing hypertension. Globally, more than 300 million people of all ages suffer from depression. More than 60,000 young adults aged 20 to 39 are diagnosed with cancer each year. Obesity leads to problems such as stroke, heart disease, and kidney failure. No matter your race, age, or color, we are all at risk. These diseases can be managed or prevented if caught early but with the right medicine and the right doctors to keep us on a path to live a robust and healthy life. We will live well.